Hello, fight fans. Thanks for joining us at MMA Insider. Before we get rolling with today's news, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now let's uncover the latest happenings in MMA. Starting off, Dustin Poirier compares and contrasts UFC 302 foe Islam Makachev and former rival Khabib Nurmagomedov. Next, Sean O'Malley sad over Conor McGregor's recent social media jabs at him. Lastly, Chael Sonnen blasts Charles Oliveira's list of demands associated with Conor McGregor, Michael Chandler, backup Role. Dustin sees distinct similarities and differences between former foe Khabib Nurmagomedov and UFC 302 adversary Islam Makachev. Dustin will hope that the third time's the charm when he faces the lightweight title holder Makachev in the UFC 302 main event on June 1st. He returns for his third career lineal lightweight title shot and is hoping to finally reach the pinnacle of the division. Dustin is riding a lot of momentum after a knockout win over Benoit Saint-Denis at UFC 299. Armand Sarukian was expected to be the next title challenger after winning at UFC 300 but declined the title shot due to unideal timing. Dustin will face Nurmagomedov's star pupil, Makachev, for a shot at UFC gold. He lost to Nurmagomedov at UFC 242 after winning the interim belt against Max Holloway. Makachev and Nurmagomedov are close friends, allies, and training partners. Poirier feels some tendencies make Makachev a potentially tougher test than Nurmagomedov. In a recent appearance on the MMA Hour, Dustin compared Makachev and Nurmagomedov's skill sets. Here is what he said. Islam's submission game, jujitsu-wise, is a bit more versatile than than Habib's was. Habib had some chokes that he did really well, but Islam's put himself in bad positions, going for arm bars. Maybe he loses a position, but he uses his wrestling to get it back. Islam's a bit more of a threat, jiu-jitsu-wise in scrambles, and his striking is better than Habib. UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley was caught off guard when Conor McGregor called him out in hostile fashion in a recent social media rant. O'Malley is fresh off a dominant title defense against Marlon Vera at UFC 299 earlier this year. He's expected to face top contender Merab Dvalishvili for his next fight, potentially at UFC 306 in September at the Las Vegas Sphere. As he prepares for his next title defense, O'Malley has teased a future crossover bout against boxing star Ryan Garcia. In reaction to Garcia's antics and positive performance-enhancing drug test, McGregor aimed at the boxing star on social media and criticized him for using a banned substance. He invoked O'Malley's name after the UFC bantamweight champion tested positive for the same substance, Osterine, earlier in his career. McGregor also challenged O'Malley to a sparring match ahead of the former's UFC return at UFC 303. During a recent episode of the Timbo Sugar Show podcast, O'Malley responded to McGregor's social media rant. I've seen a lot of people being like, damn, I bet Suga's sad. He always talks nothing but great about Connor. He's his idol. He just went on a little tweet rant. Sugar sugared up, talk I was more sad than mad. Now I cannot wait to see Michael Chandler absolutely just sleep him. I'm turning up, I'm changing up real quick, F Connor. Chael Sonnen thinks Charles Oliveira might have blown his chances at being the backup fighter to Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler at UFC 303. McGregor and Chandler will finally clash in the UFC 303 main event on June 29th in Las Vegas. Oliveira, after a loss to Armin Sarukian at UFC 300, wants to be the backup fighter to the McGregor versus Chandler showdown. He defeated Chandler at UFC 262 for the then vacant title and has called out McGregor on numerous occasions during his UFC tenure. But there's one condition for Oliveira to accept an offer to serve as the fight's backup. If his services are required, he wants to be assured he can renegotiate the fight contract to a higher price tag and not the standard backup fighter payout. Sonnen feels this is a significant mistake by Oliveira. In a recent episode of Good Guy, Bad Guy with Daniel Cormier, Sonnen scoffed at Oliveira's demands for a backup role. He has a list of demands, demands to be the backup fighter. So I'd like to ask, do you think the UFC wants those demands? Or will you compare it to me riding down and throwing a bottle into the ocean with a tag that says NASA to let NASA know my demand to be the first human on Jupiter. Which demand is going to be thrown in the trash can first? Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Your dedication and support fuel our passion to bring you the latest and greatest in the MMA world. If you enjoyed today's news, please give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow MMA fans. Remember to subscribe to stay in the loop with daily MMA updates. We've got a lot of exciting news, interviews, and analysis coming your way every single 
single day. Your engagement helps us grow and serve the MMA community even better. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our daily MMA journey.